Hello guys, I am back with another guide video. This time I'll be talking about TVT. Uh, so I'll be teaching you guys a build order for TVT that's very safe and very uh, macro oriented build. Uh, even though it starts off pretty aggressive, it transitions well into the macro game with uh, a lot of potential for us. Anyway, let's get started. So this build um, basically focuses on safety first. So you open very safe, um, you can't really die to any cheese simply because of how you open. You have scouting with the Reapers, you can do some damage with Reaper Cyclones, and then you transition into Ravens, which also gives you detection against Banshees, plus it gives you harass potential um, if there's no Banshees. So the build starts off with uh, Depot, and then Gas first, into Barracks, into another Gas, whenever you have the minerals for the second gas while constantly producing SCVs. And from here on out, I just transition into Factory while making a Double Reaper and then Cyclone. You might have seen this build. Uh, it's very, very popular. I just wanted to, uh, you know, just explain the thought process behind it and why you do certain things in the build. So with this build, you don't really need to SCV scout. I actually suggest uh, against it, because if you do SCV scout, you're not going to have minerals to actually constantly produce. So you can see with the first Reaper on, for example, four player maps, I just check if he spawned here. If he didn't, I'll go straight back to my base, because I don't want to go to the left uh, right now, because if he spawned in the top left, then his Reaper will arrive at my base, and I actually want to kill it. Now this only applies for four player maps and two player maps. You usually don't want to rush to your opponent's uh, base because you will lose the Reaper and then, you know, if you did the same build, you're kind of going to be at a big disadvantage because, well, you're simply going to have one less Reaper and you're building the same units. So I see his Reaper going in and I just get the second Reaper as well. And I managed to pick it off. Now, the build order is basically a double reaper into one cyclone. Then you make a tech lab on the barracks, switch it with starport, and then follow your cyclone with a widow mine. Then you make a command center and a raven from the starport. Now, I still don't know where he spawned, um, but I do know that he lost a reaper. So, and I saw the reaper, so I know that he either went for fast expand or he went for the exact same build. In this case, my opponent went for Reaper Fast Expand. So I scout here because I saw that's where the Reaper came from, but then I realized he spawned in the bottom left position. Now I'm sending the Widow Mine across the map as well. And basically after seeing this, walling off this early um, outside the natural base, I know that he Fast Expanded because well, my CC is not even finished yet, why would I start walling off here, right? Um, when I do this build, I do double Raven, which you might have seen on, on uh, Innovation Stream or BN Stream. So what I do is, I do double Raven, and then I go Reactor in the Barracks, and then you make a Tech Lab on the Factory. Now, one thing to note, if the opponent went for double gas, uh, one base build as well, and let's say when the cloak banshees. Then what you want to do is poke, not engage into it, and if you see a banshee, instead of making a second raven, you should make a viking and then a second raven after that. So you can defend, you can chase away the banshee, you know, properly. Um, also, you need to be able to adjust to builds like maybe he goes for six marine, one widow mine drop. So what you want to do in that case, let's say you poke, you see that, you see medevac running across the map, I would start a cyclone right now. So you can't always follow up the build order. TVT is very complicated early on. But once you understand it, it becomes very simple. Where it's basically like, if you're doing this build, and when you see something, you just react to it, right? So if you see a fast expand, you don't need a Viking. You go another Raven instantly. You can make attack lab on the factory, make siege things. Third base, more racks, whatever you want. You're, you're free to do anything because... He expanded and you get to be aggressive. If you see a Cloak Banshee, you make a Raven into a Viking, maybe make another Cyclone uh, with the existing one, so you can chase away the Banshee and then another Raven after that. If you see like a push with uh, maybe double Cyclone Metadac or a Reaper Hellion or Marine Widow Mine, then you can make another Cyclone just to be 
extra cautious. But this game, like I said, I saw that he fast expanded right here because of the depot. So I know that I don't need another cyclone and I just skip that. Anyway, I poke here, I try to pick off cyclone and I almost do. Decide to pull back. As you can see, I'm not trying to overcommit too much. I'm poking. Again, I almost managed to pick up the cyclone and then get greedy and jump on my grenade. Um, but that would have been very, very good pickoff for me. But all in all, uh, what I do here is I force a scan from him for the Widow Mine, which is obviously very good trade this early in the game. Uh, the Widow Mine is only 75 25, and the scan is obviously uh, over 200 minerals. So now, the Raven. Uh, so what I do here is I have this Reaper, which is going to be pretty useless in the mid-game. So what I do is I just distract him with the Reaper here. While my Raven goes in, drops some turrets, and over the course of this game, you'll see these Ravens getting a lot, a lot of kills. So, four kills already stopped the Rack's production. Uh, the Reaper did distract because his old units were there. The SCVs are not mining, so... This harass is already really, really good. You'll see him pulling back the units, and just as he pulls back, the Raven has energy for another turret again. And I mess up with targeting there. You should always try to target fire the SCVs, but I actually shift queued that and did not pay attention, which is my bad. Meanwhile, back in my base, I added uh, two more Raxes, and. I'm playing pretty safe. I didn't go for super fast third CC. You'll see me starting steam very soon. Meanwhile, on the natural, another raven drop. So what you want to do with the double raven uh, build, the reason why it's that good is because you can harass both bases uh, constantly. And every, if your opponent decides to move out, you just harass with ravens and you just get more and more ahead. If you look at the SCVs killed, they killed nine at this point. So the ravens paid off considering that you know they didn't die yet. And yeah, back at home I have my siege tank sieged up, uh, fully saturated main, about to fully saturate natural base as well. And I'm just defending this drop that he's been uh, harassing me with. I don't think he killed any SCVs, uh, zero SCVs killed. So at this point I'm just building up an army, getting stim, getting combat shields. And at this point the SCV count, I'm four ahead, even though he went for uh, Reaper fast expand. And I went for double gas, one base opener. So, I want to explain one thing. Um, it's almost, it feels like it's almost impossible to never do damage with Ravens. So, even though he's going to be ahead on SCVs because he opened fast expand, you can always equalize the SCV count. And if you look at the tech, um, he has three racks as he's building fourth and fifth and at home I have three fully produ uh, fully producing units I have plus one on the way, his plus one is a bit late so more or less we're the same path in the game except that I have these two ravens which are extremely extremely important now this raven goes in and I see two more raxes I don't see third CC so at this point this tells me I just need to be defensive I can get a third base and just defend because he's going for a very very committed two base push with five Raxes and one factor, one starport. And that's exactly what I do. I take my third base on the spot. I have this Cyclone in the middle. And this Raven has seven kills. In total, these Ravens killed 15 SCVs. And this one still has some work to do. So now, with the Cyclone, I see him moving out. And what I want to do, like I said, because I know he's two basing, I just want to delay. Uh, his push. If I saw the third CC, I would have pushed into him a lot earlier the moment my steam finished. But because I know he's going to be aggressive, I just need to defend. And in TVT, obviously, uh, being the defending player is a lot better because he cannot really attack into the siege tanks. Now, this Raven got some more kills, so I'm up to 25 SV kills. I'll go back a bit just so you guys can see that moment. What you want to do is Okay, hold on. What you want to do is uh, you want to drop the turrets when something is happening. So, for example, this Raven, seven kills right now. He's moving out. I just scanned here, so I saw that. I see with the Cyclone his army. And just as our armies are colliding on middle, 
I shift Q, the turrets, and then I micro my army. So what happens then, he is microing this army while the turrets are destroying the mineral line. And that's how you want to use your ravens in general in this matchup. To continue from here, uh, I just keep scanning his army. I don't want to get Doom Drop. Doom Drop is extremely hard to deal with in TVT if it lands in your base. So I'm just sieging and sieging here. Uh, trading units. You can see the supply is already uh, making a big difference because of all the SCVs he lost. It's 53 SCVs right now to 36. Uh, a lead for me. And... Right now, I have a medevac. I just keep an eye on his army. If he unsieges and goes up, I unsiege and go back and go up. If he goes down, I'll unsiege and I'll defend here, which I think will happen in this game. I'll just speed things up now because this is just the engagement part, but I will touch on that as well, not just the uh, build order itself. You can see, like I said, he's moving his army on top. I move my army on top. And again, I just siege up and wait. The moment he has sieges, I managed to kill two siege tanks and a cyclone, pull back for maybe five marines, which is definitely worth it. I have a missile turret here to prevent any doom drops or to see them easier. Because once again, I know this is heavy, heavy two base, so all I need to do is defend and I'm happy. Now this liberator gets a bit unlucky and goes into death, even though I have sensor tower here so I would see the army. I'm already repositioning, I scan, there's nothing, put one marine there just to know where his army is moving. Now I know that his army is somewhere in the middle or going to the top because I do have a marine here. I scan the middle, I see the army moving and I'm just denying him any entrance to any of my bases. Meanwhile I sent the liberator around the map, my raven did die eventually, I get nine ten more kills with that and that's at this point this is gg like he needs to kill me killing a base wouldn't even do it because my 2-2 two, two is on the way with plus one uh four siege tanks while he doesn't have the armory or the second engineering bay so he's sieging up here again i'm defending i have the sensor tower and he can't really do anything uh, i'm making two liberators because if he were to just stay here, I can siege up liberators and deny that. And I can see him obviously moving with the sensor tower. I try to pick off some units, I pick off a tank. And at this point he's getting desperate. He is, you know, seeing that the follow-up, just straight up engagement is not going to work. I scan on his army, see everything loading up and stay my units, intercept the drop. And if the 2-2 two -two finishes, the game is 100% over. Up to this point, he still has a chance. If I would let the Doom drop in my main base or something like that happen, I could still lose. Uh, meanwhile, what I did is I noticed that I've been winning these small engagements, so I decided to send double medevac drop on the bottom side, expecting he either lifted the main or he did a very late expand, which none of, it, none of those two happened. And after not seeing the third, I just go straight up for the natural. And again, I see his units on the middle. I'm intercepting his reinforcements. I scan here and he's forced to all in. So the point is two medevacs arrive. He's forced to all in because he doesn't have anything in the base. And these two medevac drops will win me the game. So he goes for an engagement that just does not work at all. And he loses the game. Now this was a game that I actually never attacked. I was just being defensive whole game. And that's because I read the situation, I read that he's going for two base all in, so there's no need for me to attack, I can just wait and let the opponent kill himself. Now, I'll go back, and once again, I will go quickly through the build order, because I wasn't fully uh, staying in my point of view. So once again, gas first, into barracks, into second gas, Followed up by Factory, Reaper, Double Reaper in fact, uh, then a Cyclone, Starport, Tech Lab on the racks, Wooden Mine from the Factory. Again, if he is aggressive uh, with the same build order with Marines or Double Cyclone, you can make another Cyclone after the Wooden Mine. I'm making a Raven and I suggest always making a Raven first. 
If he's waiting for Cloak Banshee, you want to be getting Viking second. If not, just get another Raven. Expanding meanwhile. And you can see another Raven queued up. I'll start Marine production soon. Tech Lab going up. And this is where I add the double racks as well. My natural finished. And I'll be switching this starport with um, one of these barracks. Poor Stim. And after that, I have an engineering bay, plus one, and once I saw that he's going for uh, two base all in, I uh, add, ended up adding the third base anyway, because I know that if I have a third base, all I need to do is defend. I got the full information on what he's doing, so no problem in that. Uh, that's gonna, going to be it. Uh, this build is, like I said, a very solid for ladder. This is the build I use very, very often. Uh, it doesn't really die to any cheese. It's good versus macro builds. What you can also do is instead of adding these two raxes, you can add a third CC if that's your playstyle to go for a lot of greedy third. But if you don't have a lot of experience with the build, I would suggest going with uh, three racks total, factory starport, then make a third base and then add two more raxes after that. But yeah, um, don't worry if you see a fast expand build. Remember, you have ravens make uh, most use out of them and I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helped you if you are playing mech what you can do is you can open exactly the same so don't be uh, confused or, or think that you need a different build because this is bio build you can literally use the same build you just add factories instead of raxes the opener is exactly the same because the TVT meta is like that that a lot of people are going for these double gas uh, really recycling openers. Anyway, once again, uh, that will be it. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for new videos, feel free to leave a comment under the video. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time.